while you are entertaining during this holiday season, we thought that we could help you out a little bit with a couple of great holiday recipes that are sure to impress your guests. And this is just the guy to do it, Chef Sal Zaponi from Zaponi's Italian Bistro, one of our favorites. He is here to show us how to totally wow your yeah. guests, family and friends. Simple. So happy holidays. Thank you. Great you to too. see you. you one of my favorite things in your restaurant <coughs> is your is your butternut squash ravioli, but your butternut squash soup isn't so bad either. Yeah, it's, it's phenomenal. Good. And you're going to teach us the recipe. Yeah, it's very simple. Um, the key is to, you know, you having, you know, finding a really good quality butternut squash. And so How we do have, you pick a good one? Well, <laughs> that's a good question. The time of year is definitely, <laughs> you know, sure. good for it. Uh, organic, you know, is, is always good what too. What if it has, is it okay if it has a little bit of blemish on yeah, it? Yeah, because you're going to peel it. Okay. So and this, we're going to kind of show you a little bit on how we peel the squash. Okay, well show us how so, to um, So basically you can either take a sharp peeler or a knife. And so what I did was I I'd cut the squash in half. Okay. And so you'll set it up like this. And you'll just take your knife and just kind of peel the edges off. Okay, and then when you get to this one here, you cut the end off carefully. Okay, mm -hmm. and you just kind of peel around it, just like that, all right? And then you'll have to cut it open, just like that, and you'll scoop out the seeds, okay? Mm -hmm. Scoop the seeds out just like and that. And it's kind of firm. So yeah, it's very firm. Yeah. And then you would dice it up, just like this, so. So this is the dice. This is the dice. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with some butter. We'll throw that in there and let that melt nice. And so we have butter, we have some uh, onions, we use yellow onions. Okay. Okay, we'll throw those in there. Nice, just like that. Then we'll throw our squash. So you want to start to get the squash for a few minutes. You know, really let the onions start to uh, sweat a little so bit. So no need to blanch it first or no, anything like that? No, not at all. Okay, no, exactly. You really right want all those flavors to come together, okay? okay? So we're going to season it with some salt, mm -hmm. some fresh pepper. Okay, and a little bit of nutmeg. No, oh, yeah. yeah, you gotta you know, have nutmeg in the holiday you got recipe, to. right? Exactly. Nutmeg and cinnamon, that's a must. Do you smell that already? Oh, yeah, it isn't that awesome? Insane. It smells like the fall. Mm. Okay, so we're gonna cook this for a few minutes, and then what we'll do is we'll add chicken stock to it. Now, if you are vegetarian, you can go vegetable stock, okay. or you can use water, perfectly fine. But um, that's gonna give it a little boost of flavor. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then we're gonna add the, uh, the heavy cream, and we're gonna let this simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes oh, okay. okay and then once that happens you'll then take it and put it in the blender okay. and blend it till it's smooth and so right here we have the finished product oh, look at that right I'm grabbing here a spoon right now because I know I have got and to it's sample this blended nice and smooth just like that and I want to ask you because these are your family recipes you grew up eating just like this right yep. so oh goodness I have to taste it <laughs> It is Fall. so, I, I'm stopping my foot. Yeah. It is so this good. This is what we start off with mm. when we do Thanksgiving dinner. We'll it's always perfect. Go with it tastes a little bit like turkey and dressing. Yeah, it kind of does. How yeah. did you do that? What's the secret? <laughs> it has a little turkey dressing kind of kick yeah, to it. Yeah, well, because I throw a little bit of that chicken stock, which has sage right, and rosemary. Right. So all those flavors in the stock. Will... So this is a good after Thanksgiving, too. Oh, you know? absolutely. Because if you had some extra, you know, turkey or, or the stock, this makes a great broth for absolutely. that. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And I love that you guys are always trying to help us cook like you yeah. which is very it's almost impossible but this is a great holiday gift idea a cooking class you guys give certificates yeah we're doing a, a our class this Saturday and then we're doing one in December so very uh, much about uh, holiday cooking and dessert making and things like that How so fun. Yeah, it's this is, fun this is a great stocking stuffer so yes. if you know if you don't maybe you know someone who doesn't cook very well or you want them to cook a little better uh, you should know that Zaponi's Italian Bistro does offer those cooking classes all the time you can learn how to cook just like Sal. Maybe not quite as good as Sal. I don't know. Here is that contact information. 480-218-2338. Their website is zaponiesbistro.com. And what are you making next? We're going to do a uh, panna cotta, which is going to have... Um a little bit of nutmeg and um, mm, just more deliciousness. Yeah. You're going to want to stick around for that. 